Hello and welcome back to Sunsets in Kuwait. In our series of Learning Kuwaiti, this is podcast number one, Asking Questions. So how do we say how are you in Kuwait? Shlonik. For a man? Yes. And for a woman? Shlonich. And for you all? Shlonkum. That means, shlon means how. Mm-hmm. How are you? Shlonik. Shlonich. Or shlonkum. Mm-hmm. And how do you reply? Zain, alhamdulillah. I'm good, alhamdulillah. Zain is good. Yeah. And then alhamdulillah is praised be to God. Very well. If you have an appointment somewhere, uh, sometimes the assistant will ask you, Meta mu'adik. When is your appointment? Mm-hmm. So meta is when. And Mawad is appointment. Mawadik, your appointment. Mawadich, your appointment female. Mawadkum, your appoint- appointment all. All of you. So you, you change the end of the word. Yes. To refer to a specific person. Yes, like Shlonich, Shlonik, Shlonkum. Okay. And what would you reply to that? You would say, Liom, uh, today, Bachar, uh, tomorrow. الحين now after one hour بعد ساعة so اليوم today mm-hmm. باشر tomorrow. tomorrow yes بعد ساعة after one hour بعد ساعة uh-huh. and or الحين now الحين now وين بتروحون اليوم where are you going today yeah. So if you're asking somebody where, usually in Kuwait we say when. Mm-hmm. And betruhun is a future uh, verb for you. You will go. So the verb would be, for example, ana aruh. Mm-hmm. I go. Betruhun mm-hmm. is you go. Yes. So all of you. Yeah. So and we put bih, the b- when you b- put the b- yeah, at right. the beginning. It means it means in the future. Yes, ana baruh means I will go. Ana aruh in present tense of I go. If you put ba, means I will go. Ana baruh. So in the future. Yes. So it would be ana baruh. Enta betroh. Enti betrohin. Yes. Uhuwa. Biroh. Biroh. Yeah. Ihiya betroh. Yes. It can be achieved by putting ba or. راح أروح. راح, آه. راح أروح أنا راح أروح I will go أنت راح تروح You will go هي راح تروح She will go إحنا راح نروح We will go Okay So you can either add ب or راح or راح mm-hmm. to make it in the future Yes When we go to the supermarket we can ask many questions but usually we ask كم how much? Uh-huh. Uh, you, for example, you can say كم سعره? How much? Does it cost? Yes. So you're pointing at the bread and you say كم سعره? كم الخبز مثلا? خبز is bread. Or كم الحليب? كم الحليب? How much is the milk for? سعره is referring to it. For example, you're pointing at the bread. You're saying كم سعره? How much? Does it cost the bread? The bread itself. Yeah. Or you can say "Chem se'arik," how much your price, or "Chem se'arikum," how much is your price all. So you can kind of conjugate and say, uh, "What is your price for he or she or for all of you?" Yeah. Right. Especially when you're bargaining in Kuwait, you will use this phrase and. You will use a very important one, which is. آخر شيء. آخر شيء. كم آخر شيء؟ كم آخر شيء؟ يعني mm-hmm. how much is the last price you're you're gonna give me? Yes. You know the lowest price. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you go to the airport and you're wondering if your flight is coming soon or not, you can ask. متى وقت الإقلاع؟ when is the time for departure? Yes. So, iqla means departure. Arrival means wusul. Meta means when. 
Mm-hmm. Waqt means time. time. And then? Al-Iqla is departure. Also, landing is uh, hubut. Say it again. Landing. The landing is hubut. And take off? Is, uh, you would say iqla. It's the same. It's the same. Yeah. So, iqla and wusul. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you're out and about in Kuwait and you're in the car and you notice it's very crowded, you can say, Shinu hadha? This is a very typical yeah, expression. Yeah, why is yom? A very it's typical a very, expression. Yeah. Uh, the first one, Shinu hadha, is a very typical expression in Kuwait. Shinu hadha? Mm. What is this? We always wonder. Shinu yes. hadha? Shinu hadha? <laughs> Shinu hadha, you can ask if you're asking what is this. Shinu hadha if you're complaining. Mm-hmm. Shinu hadha, I told her blah blah blah, but shinu hadha, she didn't do like that. And then wayid means a lot. Wayid. Mm-hmm. Wayid mm-hmm. is a lot, shwaya is little. Mm-hmm. Wayid, a lot, shwaya is a little. Wayid zahma. Liom. Liom. Today is very crowded. Mm-hmm. Okay? Shinu, what? Shino. Mm-hmm. If mm-hmm. I, I don't know if it's rude or not, but Shino. Mm-hmm. You can say Shino Shtebi or Shino Tebi. Uh, uh-huh. Shino Tebi. And what do you want? Ana Abi Inte Tebi. So Shino Tebi, what do you want? Shino Yebi, what he want? Again, if you remember from the video on verbs, Abi is I want. Mm-hmm. Right? Abi is uh, my father in, in classic, classic Arabic. Arabic yes. But in Kuwaiti, we say Abi mm-hmm. for I want. Mm-hmm. Uridu. So, Shinu Tebi. Abi is Uridu in classic Arabic. Shinu Tebi means mm-hmm. what do you want. Mm-hmm. Again, if you're out and about, you can ask. Lo Samaht. Which means please. Shlon Aruh Medinat Likwait. Shlon, if you remember, Shlon is. How? Uh-huh. Aruh. I, I go. Medinat. Medinat al Kuwait. Medinat is city, and then al Kuwait uh-huh. is Kuwait. So you, you, the the scene is you are uh, lost in the car. Uh, then uh, you are asking somebody like, how do I go to Kuwait City? Shlon aruh Medinat al Kuwait. Shlon aruh al Jamia. How do I go to the supermarket? Shlon aruh Beitna. How do I go to our house? So, Shlon Aruh. Aruh is I go. Mm-hmm. Shlon Aruh and the place. Okay. And then for uh, uh, being polite, you'd say Lo Sumaht. Lo Sumaht means if you allow. Please. If you allow, Lo Sumaht. And if you're talking to a female, you say Lo Sumahti. If you allow for female. So, you add the A at the end. Uh huh. Lo Sumahti. Mm hmm. And that's being polite. Yeah. Or لو سمحتوا لو سمحتوا أنتوا لو سمحتوا you all of you. Of course, the address would be block is قطعة street شارع house منزل floor door شقة or apartment شقة. so this uh, you will find them uh, this is the Kuwait uh, addresses it contains block street house floor and apartment this you is very useful yes. when you're ordering things or um, you're looking for a house because these are not in English so right yeah so you will narrow it down by block and the area would be for example if you're in Salwa, Rumaythiya, Salmiya, Farwaniya, Hawali what do you call the Area. Mantaka. Mantaka. Uh-huh. Ay mantaka, which area? So after you find the mantaka, which is the area, mm. then you go by block, street, house, floor, if there is any floor, and if it's an apartment, then you can ask as mm. well. Sometimes the you have jadda. Jadda is avenue, but mm. not all the areas have jadda. That's for bigger streets. And finally, we'll talk about directions, right? If you're going somewhere, you can say, where do I go? 
وين اروح؟ You can go right You mean? Or you mean? Or left? يسار يسار If you're going straight Oh, you can go على طول على طول Or سيدة سيدة mm-hmm. Okay, sometimes if you ask somebody where to go They will tell you على يمين uh-huh. على يسار mm-hmm. روح على طول روح سيدة بعدين يمين Yes بعدين after that بعدين يمين بعدين يسار Yes, so they will explain it to you in that way. Another thing is you will find, for example, when you're giving directions in English, you can say you will find the traffic light. And the traffic mm-hmm. light in Kuwaiti Ishara. is... Ishara. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, sometimes if you're telling you the U-turn, we say U-turn also. Mm-hmm. Or, uh, or uh, Lef Furja. Lef Tahat also. Uh-huh. Or Fog Tahat, صح. <laughs> Fog Tahat is upside down. Go upside down. Fog Tahat. Yes, that's a U-turn. Yeah. And the roundabout? The war. The war. Uh-huh. So they might tell you, you will find the war, then go Sida, mm-hmm. or Alatul, straight. Mm-hmm. Then you mean, then you sar. Sah. If you'd like more information on directions, we can make a video for you. If you go to any fast food restaurant and you see it's not very crowded, as in these days, um, what would you say? ليش ما في أحد في المطعم? ليش؟ mm-hmm. Why؟ ما في there is no أحد أحد some, somebody, somebody or one person في المطعم uh-huh. in the restaurant mm-hmm. في المطعم in the restaurant في البيت in the house في السيارة in the car Uh-huh. So fee is in the And they probably the they will tell you because of the coronavirus <laughs> <laughs> So why is there nobody in the restaurant? Leish Why? This is a very awkward um, scene Because sometimes we're in the elevator And somebody comes in, right? And usually you know where you're going But you have to ask somebody where they're going If they're going up or down mm-hmm. what would you say sa'id wala nazil aw sa'id aw nazil usually this goes fast like he's trying to enter the the left or the elevator mm-hmm. so you're telling him he's or he's asking you sa'id wala nazil so if you then to sa'ida aw sa'id you're going up he will say oh, okay thank you because he's going down so he will he will ask you when the door open sa'id wala nazil So you will answer will be Sa'ad or Nazil. And you can also ask them, right? Mm-hmm. Another question you can say is A door. Mm-hmm. Which floor? Which floor? Mm-hmm. And then they have to answer you in a number, right? Yeah. Or G, ground. Mm-hmm. Um, ardi, door al ardi is ground floor. And basement. Sirdab. Um, Sirdab. Ah, yeah, you know. I know. <laughs> you know better than you know. me. Sirdab. So, yes. Okay, so this is different from up and down as we use it sometimes. Fog u tahat. Mm-hmm. Fog is up, tahat is down. But can you use it in the same uh, yeah, you can circumstance? Yeah, you can say, I'm fog. I'm going up. I'm going up, tahat, obviously. Mm-hmm. So you can emphasize that I'm going up. I'm going up, fog. I'm going up, tahat. Or I'm going up, I'm going up, I'm I'm going downstairs. أنا صاعد على السلم. I'm going upstairs. So the two words you need to know, or four words you need to know, is going up. صاعد. And up. فوق. And going down. نازل. And down. تحت. Okay. In this scene, there is also another verb, which is. ينجز. That means jumping. Jumping. أنا أنجز. I jump, Inta tengiz, you jump. And that's it for today. So we hope this was beneficial for you and we hope to continue having you in our lessons. Please like, share and subscribe. Shukran ala al Thank you for watching.